welcome back my name is Katia Valina today I am doing a different kind of video altogether based on requests so as you can see I am about to take a shower so um, I will share with you guys the things I do before shower and after shower to help keep the skin smooth and glossy so if this video you think is going to be for you stay here if you think it's going to be for somebody that you know stay here we will be talking about the benefits of brushing I will show you how to brush your skin from top to down before you take a shower and I will show you the best toner that you can use to keep you looking luscious and right back Vibrant. Guys, welcome, welcome back again. I am ready to dive into shower, but I want to bring to you the benefits of dry brushing. When you before you take a shower, go and purchase this brush from the dollar store make sure it's uh it's vegetable bristol when it says vegetable bristol is soft like vegetable so before you take a shower get a brush and brush your skin from top to up it takes up all the it takes away all the dry skin on the outer layer of your skin I'm going to take this off so I can put my hands over here. This increases the lymph drainage. It takes away the dead skin on your skin. It increases circulation. You can also use it on your face to take off all the dry skin on your skin. So inside out because you want to lift up all the sagging skin and prevent wrinkle formation. You also going to brush your neck from down to up. I don't know if you can see that there's a lot of dry skin falling off. Yes. You turn it over. It gives your body extra circulation and it's very important that you brush towards the right direction. The same thing goes on your legs. You want to also brush your legs, taking off the dry skin. This also helps to reduce cellulite. Believe it or not, when you have cellulite, this helps to fight cellulite and increase new cell regeneration. So. You want to brush every part of your body. Brush. So, including your back area too. Brush your back. Do the back of your hands. This way and that way. And when you have finished brushing, it is time to take a shower and then after shower I will show you guys how to make the most amazing toner this is one of my skincare regimen from shower to moisturizer so stay here let's get into the shower okay so I am going to get into the shower stall over here is the soap that I use. It's black soap made with black seed oil. I have this amazing dark stone here. You going to, I use this black stone here. I also use it to take extra dry skin from my heels. You can get it from any drugstore. I got this from a market in Nigeria. It's very inexpensive. I think it's about 300 naira. So. You want every part of your skin looking. You want every part of your skin looking luscious and looking nice. So let's dive into shower. So right after shower, I'm going to bring you down to my toner. I'll make you guys, I will show you how to make one of the amazing toners that I use. So, because I ran out of them, and this is why I want to share with you how I make my own toner. So here is organic rose water. 
my rose water i buy them in bulk because it's like i bathe with rose water sometimes yeah so here is a jar so i'm going to be adding some rose water in here and the next thing i'm going to be adding here is cider vinegar cider vinegar will help to brighten up your skin i don't usually add a lot i add like two 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 parts of rose water to one part of cider vinegar so i have it in here this is excellent for skin brightener it brightens your skin giving you that vibrant glow and rose water will also help to tighten your skin and decrease wrinkle formation and make your skin very subtle it contains a lot of vitamin a e c so when you have vitamin a vitamin e vitamin c your skin is drowning in hydration so the next thing i want to add in here is a little bit of glycerin glycerin is super moisturizer for your body for your skin prevent wrinkle formation after all these things after you put it all together then so i'm gonna spray this all over my face my arm my entire body because remember i just brushed my skin so your skin will be absorbing all this powerful toner I just added a little bit of water because I find it to be a little bit strong for people uh, it's it's gonna be strong for some people because of apple cider vinegar your next alternative is to spread this under on a cutting ball and use it all over your face so personally I like to do this Put it on the cutting ball for my face and then look even after shower did you see that yeah and if you are not in a rush after you spread this all over your skin just wait for about five to ten minutes if you're doing something else like if you wanna if you're doing something else do something else clean out around the area wait for about five to ten minutes before you apply your moisturizer and this is my moisturizer this is my own brand this is katia valino's body butter and what i usually do i take a little bit of my body butter my oil is almost finished this is aloe vera and coconut oil that i made so i mix it up up together and I apply it on my skin from head to toe yes and it's African shea butter so I take a little bit of shea butter I also add some of this aloe vera and coconut oil and then I go down all over my body my legs my feet my stomach to prevent stretch marks yes so guys i hope this finds you well this is one of my skincare regimen from taking a shower from before shower to during shower to after shower Thank you guys and I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Remember to share and remember to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Bye. Pumping on me high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take up. Bad man, me I come in, me I wanna take up. Girls, them I come, them I want in on the Original, fucking on me.